What is up guys and welcome back. So for today we have yet another Mortal Kombat 11 leak video and for today's video we have a new leak that tells us about Combat Pack 3, the potential trailer for it and even a possible cancellation of it. But anyways, before we get into any of that, like always, be sure to smash the subscribe button if you haven't already. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so it seems that leaks are still coming out, which gives me just a little glimmer of hope that we might still be getting a Combat Pack 3 for MK11. I know everyone's saying it's dead and the game's done, and it's kind of hard, like, not sticking to that thought, because, I mean, just look at how long we're waiting with no news at all. Or anything so it kind of makes sense for a lot of people to think mk 11s dead but don't give up just yet guys there might still be something in the works but anyways enough talking go ahead and check that out now as usual I'm gonna read it first and then we'll discuss it so this leak says hello everyone my name is John I would like to talk about Combat Pack 3 for Mortal Kombat 11 according to my sources they finished developing Combat Pack 3 the pack trailer is not finished they were late to launch the pack because of COVID-19. It's expected release in May or July. If you are late, then, then know that they canceled the pack. The pack includes five characters. Havoc, Smoke, Ashra, Cole Young, and Deathstroke. Three new skin packs. Classic Arcade Skin Pack 2 for Scorpion, Noob Saiba, and Sub-Zero. Smoke and Rain in the shop as well. A Mortal Kombat Deception skin pack for Noob Saiba, Raid, and Katana. And a Mortal Kombat Movie 2021 skin pack for Sub-Zero, Kung Lao, and Jax Briggs. And fix some problems. The pack price will be between $20 and $25. Will be released first for PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X and S. Then it will release on Nintendo Switch. Okay guys, so... Obviously, like always, take this with a grain of salt. Could be complete BS that some dude wrote up because he's bored. Or it could be real from someone named John, apparently. Well, John, if this is real, thank you for giving us some type of news. However, I don't know because, it, like, it's just, it doesn't really seem too fake, to be honest. It does not really seem too fake. It's just hard believing anything nowadays. Because, guys, like, how many leaks have we covered on this channel? Pretty sure we're, um, it's safe to say like hundreds at this point. So like it's just so hard picking out which ones are real, which ones are fake. I don't know. If this is true, then it could be good or it could be nothing because he said if if it hasn't been released in May or July, then the skim, then the comment pack was canceled. So same as nothing. So I guess this is a safe way to make a leak. Oh guys, it could happen or, or maybe it won't. Like... Like, there's literally no way um, to go around it. Either it does happen or it doesn't. He's saying it could be cancelled or maybe not. But, if it's not cancelled, apparently he said May or July will be the release date. Hopefully that means that in May we would get the reveal and then in July we get the release or something like that. So, by that logic, it has to be at least revealed in May to get a release of July. So let's just see what happens, guys. We are, well, I think we're May 11th right now. Yes, we are. So we're like around three weeks away from July. Let's see, guys. Let's just continue waiting, keeping our fingers crossed and hoping for the best and see what happens. This lineup of, of a combat pack is actually one of the better ones. Havoc, Smoke, Ashra, Deathstroke, and Cole Young. I don't care at this point. Cole Young could make it or not. It doesn't matter. I just, I just want something. I don't care who it is. I don't care what it is. Just any type of new DLC would make me happy. So let's just see what happens, guys. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions on this in the comment section down below. And for now, let's get to the comments of the day. So first up, we have enough of leaks. We want a confirmation now. Bro, you think I don't want that too? Guys, I would love to get some type of announcement, news, confirmation, just anything, guys. Like, don't get me wrong. Covering leaks is super fun. I love, love covering leaks and speculating. Oh, maybe we could get Cole Young, Havoc, Deathstroke. It's, it's super fun, but it can only last so long. Like we, I've been doing this for so long. I really just want either a new game reveal at this point or a combat pack so that we could finish MK11 to then move on to the next game. Whatever it is, a Marvel game, Injustice, whatever it is, I just want something. Next up we have... NRS better reveal something at E3. It'll be a letdown if they don't. Dude, it'll be a letdown if they wait that long. Because that, that thing's in July. So we would still need June and July. Like, come on. I, 
it would be a letdown, but at the same time, whatever. If if we get no reveal now, I guess our next best bet would be to get a reveal at E3, which would be that would be hella long. Like man, the last time we got DLC was in November, and now we have to wait until more than the middle of this year to get DLC. Like that's a huge wait. But hey, maybe it could happen. Maybe not. I don't know. And lastly, we have. Bring on the Marvel fighting game because he was so excited for the idea. You know, that is something that I've actually wanted to talk about. Like, it's very likely we actually get a Marvel game next. Which, it doesn't really make me super happy. It just makes me happy because we're getting a new game. I would have preferred it to be Injustice, but whatever, a Marvel game I'm pretty sure will be really cool. Not gonna lie. I would have preferred Injustice any day, but a Marvel game is looking likely. And like this person said, Ed Boon does seem very hyped for Marvel. Like, if you guys look at his Twitter, dude, he tweets out something about Marvel, like, every other day. Like, I'm pretty sure yesterday he tweeted something out about Marvel. Like, he tweets out so many Marvel things. And in the interview, when they asked him if he thought about making a Marvel game, he got really happy. He was like, yes, I have, and I've been in talks with Marvel. And then he stopped talking because that's all he could say. But yeah, Edibun seems to be really happy or just hyped or, or re really like just enjoying Marvel. All his tweets are Marvel, he gets happy at the thought of Marvel. So guys, I'm pretty sure it's a safe bet that the next game will be a Marvel fighting game. Which I'm cool with, but damn, Injustice would have Injustice would have done it for me. But whatever, it is what it is guys. As long as we got something new, that's what matters. So anyway guys, that will be it for today's video. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions on all of this in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and peace.